Welcome to Arctic Fox Storycraft. Uh, this is Miss Danielle, and today we're going to read Daddy Honk Honk by Rosalind Bonnet. Read with permission from Dial Books for Young Readers, an imprint of Penguin Random House. Daddy Honk Honk. It's the end of the summer in the Arctic, and snow will soon cover the tundra. Everyone is enjoying the last sunny days. Ape put the little fox is watching the geese fly away. Oops, they forgot something, he says, noticing an egg in the grass nearby. He looks and sniffs. He knocks and listens. He shakes it and... <gasps> Daddy, honk, honk! Whew, you gave me a shock. Daddy, honk, honk. I'm not your daddy, you know. Daddy, honk, honk. You're a cutie, but I don't know how to take care of a baby. Daddy, honk, honk. Let's go find you a family. Could you please let go of my nose now? Aput goes to the lemmings. Would you like a baby? What a little sweetheart, they exclaim. But they have no room for a new baby. Mama Lemming gives Aput a tiny hat. A baby needs to stay warm, says Papa. Oh, I see, thanks, says Aput. Aput meets Olaf and Lily. Do you know much about babies? Mm, not really, as answers the muskox. Lily is not an expert either, but she has a suggestion. Here, take some yummy food, she says. A tiny shrimp like that needs to eat to become big and strong like us. Thanks. Have a good hike, says Aput. He wonders if a well-nourished baby could get as big as a muskox. Next, they pass Nanook doing his morning yoga. Better not disturb him, thinks Aput. But the baby wants to meet Nanook. Daddy, honk, honk. Daddy, honk, honk. Daddy, honk, honk. Daddy, honk, 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 honk. <laughs> so noisy, grumbles Nanook. Isn't it nap time? A baby needs sleep. Good point, says Aput. Aput puts the baby in a comfortable place, but the baby is not sleepy. No more honk, honk, it's nap time. You should rock him, suggests Granny Puffin, but the mischievous baby definitely doesn't want to sleep. Splash, it's much more fun to play in the water. More and more friends come to play. What a ruckus. Stop, you're going to squish my baby, shouts Aput. Ed of the whale stops the game with a big swish of her tail. You must always keep an eye out on your baby, she says. Yes, phew, thanks, Aput sighs. Come on, little rascal, time to go home. Let's hurry, you're chilly. Look, our house is down there. Here we come, the fastest family on the tundra. Welcome. I will be the greatest daddy, hums Aput. Healthy food, keep warm. We are all set for playtime and bedtime. I think a little one like you needs a story before bed, says Aput, opening a book. Then they hear a knock at the door. All the friends are here, what a nice surprise. Your baby needs a beautiful name, they say. Welcome, Aurora. Under the northern lights, everyone celebrates Aurora's birth. Cocoa and cuddles, snacks and songs, laughs and kisses. Because above all, a baby needs love. The end. Our next book, our next book is called Arctic Foxes. It's written by Maeve T. Sisk and read with permission from Gareth Stevens Publishing. Arctic foxes live around the Arctic Ocean. They have a great way to hide. Their coats make them hard to see in the tundra. Arctic foxes have several layers of fur. In winter, many Arctic foxes have a white outer layer. Others have a blue-gray coat. Both colors blend in with the snow. In the spring, Arctic foxes shed their outer layers. They become gray or brown. These colors blend in with tundra rocks and plants. When it gets colder, the foxes grow winter fur again. Arctic foxes have small ears and short noses. Small body parts help keep body heat in. Arctic foxes also have fur on the bottoms of their paws. Arctic foxes live in burrows under the ground. They can also dig deep into the snow to escape cold tundra winds. An Arctic fox has a special tail called a brush. The brush is very thick. The Arctic fox wraps itself in its brush to keep warm. Arctic foxes eat lemmings, birds, fish, and other animals. They also eat some plants and berries. 
Arctic foxes store food for the winter. Arctic foxes may follow a polar bear uh, may follow polar bears to get food. After a polar bear kills an animal, the Arctic fox fox eats any leftover meat. Arctic foxes mate in the spring, and mother Arctic foxes may have up to fourteen pups. The mother, father, and pups live together for just a few months. And that's the end. Yeah, we don't have anything like um, yeah. those two. So we just have every backpack. I wish for you that your daughter does not get to.